So hi guys, it is Yanni and Daniel from Asheville. And this house update is sponsored by Insta360 GoTo. So as you guys know, I have a team of videographers that work around the clock. I meet the latest addition to the team, the Insta360 GoTo. So it's small and lightweight, and you can wear it without any bulk or extra weight, which allows for great POV point of view. So the size also opens up a ton of creative potential, which means you can mount it where larger cameras can't go. So it's super portable. Carry your go-to in your pocket, just like your AirPods, no bag needed. It's also non-intrusive and annoying to bring a bunch of mount gear in places that doesn't really fit, like my shower. So with go-to, it's not intrusive, looks good on your top, and doesn't get in the way when you're filming during the day. Right, okay, so, the garden. Yep, should we start at your fence? Start at your fence. See, you've missed us, haven't you? Okay, the fence is going up. You going that way, I'm going this way. To me, to you. To me, to you. Hello! <laughs> yeah, I can't see you. Hello. Okay. So we've got the fence. Yes. Oh, careful. <laughs> Ahoy! It's one of them days. Don't take it person. Anyway, all right, so the fence is up. That is high. Yes. Um, I have a client who values privacy. Uh, luckily, all the neighbors around here are very accommodating and they also want privacy. You've got to think, is this high fence to keep the bad stuff in or to keep the bad stuff out? Do you not want them looking at you? Or do you not want to look at them? Looking at me, looking at you, looking at you, looking at you. Look, over there, over there. Well, it's nice, nice. So what's that usually, about six foot? Uh, yeah, it's- And then that's seven foot? Uh, yes, so we'll be seven foot in total. We've got the posts in place. And then afterwards, we are gonna paint this in a gray, I believe. Pretty much, so yeah. it's gonna be all gray. Yes. Yeah. And we're gonna do the fence on the other side. So you know, in a house, one side is your fence, the other side is the other person's fence. So this side is my fence, that side is the neighbor's fence. However, that fence is really wobbly and it's gonna come down anyway, so I said I'll change that one as well. So that way then my garden looks exactly the same all round. Generally, people say the fence on the left is yours, but is it the left when you're facing the house or is it the left when your back's to the house? Well, when we've checked out, it's the left when I'm facing the back of the house. So yeah. that's mine, that's his. And luckily next door neighbors, that's the noise you can hear. They're doing work as well. So they're doing an the extension, they've done the garden. So we're all doing it at the same time and hopefully we'll finish at the same time. Right, so those are all the fence panels. Yep. The rest of the fence panels, these are the rest of the posts. We've got enough here to complete this area. And as well, we're just, uh, we haven't filled this hole in yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some irrigation in this area. Ooh. Yeah, so we're gonna irrigation. run a couple of pipes. Yep. Across the nation. So imagine the build up. No, we're not, we're not doing rhyming today, no? No, we can do it, but I, I'll win. I, we... <laughs> so, like, irrigation across the nation. Okay, okay, and to dig the floor, we had to use penetration. Okay, and that could be a sensation. Um, at the moment, my shoulder's bad and I've got inflammation. <laughs> okay, continue on. <laughs> he, knew, he knew that I was going to win. <laughs> Me always winning gives him irritation, so yeah. Anyway. So we're gonna we're gonna run pipes. We're gonna if we <laughs> do you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, go, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah. No, I'm just going, you can't have that in the video anyway, so it's fine. You can't have that in the video. So but anyway. We're, we're going to have irrigation around here. So we imagine we're going to have some pits around here. So it's going to be shingle. Then there's going to be a membrane. There's going to be some more shingle. Then we're going to have perforated pipe, which is basically pipe with loads of little holes in it. That's how we're going to manage all the rainwater in this area. Because Yanni is going to have turf. Water's going to go through, but we don't want any water logging. So all the water um, from the perforated pipes will come to this area. And that is going in and it's taking water out there. Is turf another term used as fake grass. Yeah, it's not really yeah, astro. Turf to me is grass, it's normal yeah. grass. Okay. But astro turf, fake grass. Astro turf. Yeah. So we, we yeah. finally found as well someone to sort out the rear and the front. So Daniel's team are doing all the fencing and then a team will come in, shout out Manny from Elite Pave. Um, he was on it. Fair play to him. He came down, said, this is what I recommend. This is the plan that we gave him. He was like, yep, boom, 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 boom. Straight away, he's like, I'll order the fence. I'll order this, I'll order the floor. 
he was on it. So yeah, shout out Mandy from Elite Pace. I'm looking forward to them guys coming in. And obviously they reckon they'll finish this in about three weeks or so. And then look at the front, which should take a week, but we'll do that at the very, very end. Yeah, so he, he we've given some instructions for this area, but he's told us what he wants us to do to get it ready. So um, we took some dimensions from the house um, to the level of the pool, because I think there's a, there's a bit of a 60 mil difference, but we need to control the water. So we decided that we're gonna have the drainage grills along the house there, but then we're gonna have them around the pool as well, which is what we discussed. Okay. Yeah. So any water will be managed in that way, any rainwater. It's very important to manage your rainwater because you don't want water pooling and you don't want water building up because when the water builds up and then the wind blows, it can blow it underneath thresholds for the bifold doors. And, and it does rain a lot. Unfortunately, it does. And also, I like that. You don't want any rainwater pooling. Right, okay. As well, uh, the material that's going to be here, we're going to bring in a load of Type 1, which is 40 mil to dust. Uh, we're going to bring it out onto the front and then they're going to use their team and they're going to wheelbarrow it into the back. Um, he also said he's got a digger that will go down the side of the house so we're not going to have to knock through a wall through my brand new house. Again. Again. Like we did for the garage. Do you do flashbacks in this? Uh, Can we flash back to when we made the hole in the garage to get the digger through? Cut a hole in the wall so we could move the small digger to the back garden. That colour there is going to be the colour of the fence of this. They need to render this. Um, so that's going to be the colour everywhere. It's going to be grey. Ah, oh, let me show the fence. Look at the fence. Look at the fence. As you can see, it's all damaged there. Look. So they literally just fall over. So I was like, there's no point. Look. So that is why. That's why we're going to change that fence as well. But I'll foot the bill. I'll foot the bill. Right, so, should we head inside? Down in the Don't want to be going inside like this, do we? How are we doing this? So we've switched to the front of the house. Uh, we're still waiting for the door to come. We've obviously delayed it because the door is like a last thing. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't want coming yet until a lot more of the house has been done. Like I haven't done my garage door. The front door has been ordered and it looks incredible in the pictures they've sent, but they're like, whenever you're ready, tell us. Obviously the front, we've now decided how we're gonna do the front. I just haven't decided what we're gonna put down. Um, I was initially gonna do, uh, what's it called? Resin. Resin, but People are telling me if you've got a heavy car and stuff like that, when you start turning the wheel, you're gonna have issues. And I'm sure there's gonna be people watching this saying, nope, no, you're not gonna have any issues at all. A lot of the cars are, that we have are four by fours um, and I want it long-term. So I'd rather not do resin, so I need to work out the brickwork, the style, um, the squares, etc. So, but that's something that we'll work out towards the end once all this fencing comes down. Um, I'm so happy that we pulled the front out. You remember that this was a lot further forward Yes, Daniel. Can we just point out that now I've moved the digger and the trailer, how much more space we've got out the front. Can we talk about that? I know, it's nice. And talking about the front, what we need to do, we need to build up the front quite a bit. So if you've ever seen any of our videos, we've got these large rocks coming on on a train, which is a 6C material. We have to bring a lot of 6C material here. And we, why, are you, why are you pulling faces? Untighten your face, man. You're pulling faces. And then we have is to that we build up. Is the LH380 or whatever it is? LH60, actually. LH60. It's an LH60. But we're going to bring loads of that stone here and we're going to build it up because that stone's perfect as well for um, water to drain for it as well. Oh, here we go. You're really on this water thing, aren't you? Everything's about the water drainage today. It's all about flow. It's about flow. Path of least resistance. Which is inside, actually. I had to go. So what you'll see is obviously you saw the stairs last time. They put the banisters in now. Uh, we're waiting for the glass and stuff. That'll be very, very lasting. And obviously these will be painted. And there's some paint. Now, this is actually quite a cool story. So Daniel said to me, my guys are really busy, he's got other jobs working, he goes, we need to get a painters in. And I was like, okay. I was gonna put something on my social media, wasn't I? So I was going through my DMs, and this company, Select Decorators, sent me a DM, and he was like, listen, this is what we do, this is who we are. And I thought, that's a bit of a coincidence. Huh? Coincidence. 
coincidence, a coincidence, because I was going to put it out on my social. So I was like, Daniel, let's, let's see what they're like. So I gave the number to Daniel. Daniel contacted them. They came down and done a little recce on the house. And they seemed like they knew what they were talking about. Yep. They seemed like they knew their stuff. He's asking all the right questions. Yes, as Daniel said. And I was like, okay then. So we got a price from them. And um, they priced it very well. They priced, they priced it fair, to be fair. To be fair, to be fair. To be sure, to be sure. And, um, but they don't use the brush. They do use the brush, but they spray. Yep. They've come in, they've done the house. And people that have come and said, yeah, their stuff's incredible. The way they finish, the spray finish and stuff like that is insane. Yeah, I second that. We are so flat out busy. And us decorating Jan's house, it would cause even more delays. So we're... So glad he said that. It would cause even more delays. So we've brought other people on board who are now trusted suppliers that, yeah. that we're going to move forward with ourselves. But truth be told, we don't actually spray anything. We paint with rollers and we use brushes, but these guys spray. So it's been a bit of a learning curve for us as well. And I really like the finish. You can tell a distinct difference between a sprayed ceiling and one that was done with rollers. You can see the difference. So. Um, I've actually learned something on this job as well. Apart from Yanni's completely unreasonable and he's got a short memory. I also learned that on this job, but other than that. Also, they did say to me, for example, like YK Sparks does the electrics. And if he goes, anyone messes with the ceiling, it's not like you can just touch it in. He goes, you need to spray again. Obviously, if it's in the corner, you can get away with it. You can cheat it as such. But he's like, make sure your guys, if they're going to start drilling into the ceiling and stuff, they mess up my ceiling, they're in trouble. So he don't, he don't mess around. He's, he's a perfectionist. I was well impressed with those guys. And you'll notice here that this is all completely boxed in as well. So this wasn't boxed in previously. Now, um, once the extension is built, on both sides of the extension, we have some ice stud. And within the ice stud, we have 90 mil insulation. Insulation. Ice stud. Yes, ice stud. And we have 90 mil insulation. So everything has been done here. It's all closed off. First fix is finished. And this first coat is on the wall, but once um, we do the rest of the work around here, so we, once the doors are finished being on, we're going to do the skirting, then they're going to come back and decorate and do second fix. So there's a load of people um, resequencing and trying to work around each other, but we are there or thereabouts everywhere, as you'll see when we continue. Well, we've got wallpaper. There's going to be wallpaper in here. Yeah. There's going to be wallpaper in here. So um, it's good. No, it's really, really good. So let's go into one of the sure, rooms. Yeah. Wait, remember when you were in prison? Yeah, when I was in prison. Okay, we'll see you in prison. It's very hot in here. I think they're running the underfloor heating. Yeah. Uh, you have to run the underfloor heating before you put the tiles down. Ah! <laughs> I'm here all week. You have to run the underfloor heating before you. Look at this guy. Look at, look at Hollywood. Hollywood, come in. Hollywood, come in. I'm coming, Hollywood. Why you got a rounders back? So Hollywood just changed his teeth. How are we doing? Thanks for coming back, Hollywood. What you'd have known. Do you know why we haven't shot one of these videos? Because Hollywood's been away for like five weeks on holiday. He goes, I'm only going to be away for four. Then he took an extra holiday. Five weeks away. Warriors, come out and play. Good times. And now you're back. Sad times? Yeah. Don't be like that. Not good times? What's this idiot doing? Anyway, as I was saying about the, that's why you're a hard tap for Daniel walking around with his rounders back. So as I was saying about the underfloor heating, they've got to turn the underfloor heating on, keep it on for a few days, let all the cracks happen. So if you put the tiles on straight away on a cold, cold floor, then you turn the underfloor heating on, you're gonna have issues. So we're running on the floor here, making sure it all works. Um, running through the water. We have a wet system. We have a wet system. We do not have electric underfloor heating. We have a wet system on the ground floor, uh, which is supplied by the boiler. While um, electric underfloor heating is easier to put in, the bills would absolutely finish Jan off. Completely finish you. So plumbing is a lot cheaper to run once it's in. But just as good as electric? Yeah, no, of course, 100%, yeah, 100%. This is the bathroom where, if you remember our last episode, when Yanni was locked in prison because he wouldn't pay me my $2, which he still hasn't paid, this is the prison he was locked in. And now you'll see that this is a lovely toilet. Walls are tiled as well. A toilet and shower. And shower. Yes. All the tiles are on the wall, and we are looking good in there. Yeah, it looks nice in there. And that is the toilet they're using, like the staff are using for now. Obviously, they use a toilet until it gets the last few days. Uh, ju ju just to point out, it's not one of Jan's new toilets. No, no. It, it's one of the old toilets from the house we use. We never use a client's, their new toilet. They get very upset it, and it's just not proper etiquette to do stuff like that. So, so what happens, let's say the last few days, what do you do once the toilets are in? Where do they go? Uh, portable toilet outside. Portable. Probably, yeah. Okay. Probably drop one of a Euro Lou outside and use that. Okay, fine. 
once we get to the end. Uh, as you can see, there's holes in the ceiling, which is going to be control four. So above us right now is the Insta360 Go To. How cool is that? It actually allows us to get into certain areas that we wouldn't get a camera up there. Um, and as you can see, this will be where the control four is going. So there'll be a speaker going in there. I've got it throughout the house. Ah, so like that's that. actually really cool. You'll be able to control everything in your house at the touch of a button on your phone. So if people think you're on your phone a lot now, wait till this system's in. I oh, know. So you're going to be full video coming on that with me and Daniel on, on um, Daniel's channel, Asheville, back here. Plug! Um, with the full control force stuff. So yeah, we've gone, gone ham. Okay, where are we heading to? Should we head to the cinema room? Yes. Just there's, there's a couple of rooms that we don't always show you because there's not much going in. So you might see this room and then there's another room on the other side, there's another room. No, but you know, I think it's nice to give them an idea of, of the, of every the everywhere's at the same, just walk through, just everywhere's at the, at the same kind of, you know, at the same okay, kind we'll of stage. We'll show, we'll show the other room now. Let's, and let's and, I, and I don't want to play that because you're cheap, like you did last time. Okay, let's just jump. No hands. If, if you, all right. Jump to the other room. Okay. Ready? You're saying jump around. Three, two, one. And here we are. So we're in another room. Um, we've got LEDs in the roof. They're clearing out all their tools now. So they've got vans outside. They're loading up all their tools. So they'll start. You know when they start taking their tools away, you know we're getting close. It's fully plastered up. First fix is now complete. However, um, the painters need to come back. Uh, but they haven't had a chance when they're here initially because it was filled with all their tools. But now their tools are starting to go. We're getting there, we're getting there. But let, let's head out of here. This is just a quick room and it's got LEDs and stuff. Let's head into the cinema room. Yep. Ready? You ready? Go. Cinema room. Um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, it's now plastered up. It is hot in here. That underfloor heating is really, really hot. Um, again, you can see speakers in the, in the ceiling. Obviously, that's control four, but it's going to have its own speakers, its own surround sound, its own wall, its own TV, its own this. Uh, this little hole here, I think, I, I, think I, I don't know if I mentioned it last time. I don't know if it was there. Even, uh, even if it, it, was, it wasn't finished like this. Okay, there's going to be an 85 inch TV going on this wall. And I, I might have explained this last time, then you're going to have the projector that's going to come down. Now, why have I got a projector and a TV? One, because I like a massive, massive TV. Um, however, the projector, if I had it here all the time, so I had a fixed screen or a fixed backing like I did at my previous houses, when the bifolds are open, when the kids are in the pool, I'm not gonna be able to see the screen. So during the day, I'll have the 85 inch on, and then at night, the projector will come down and you turn it to movie or boxing or whatever you wanna watch. Um, but I'm excited. Dan Airwave is due in, I think in about a week, two weeks time. He's already starting to program. I know he does a lot of programming off site. He sent me an email the other day. I looked at the bill, I was like, oh, wow! It was like, <laughs> it's a lot of work and a lot of programming. So I was like, okay, because all the parts and stuff we managed to get from Control 4, he just needs to add some other bits. But he's, um, listen, he's reasonable, but I was like, you know at the end of the build when you spent an absolute fortune on the house and you just see another bill coming, I'm just like, okay, Dan. He's like, Jan, trust me, I'm looking after you. Okay, cool. Anyway, so he'll be coming in soon with his team. Um, and also I'm waiting for the blind guy because look, we're building everything here. The blind's gonna go there, they'll come down. That'll be really nice. We're getting there. Cinema room's going to be really, really nice. Uh, looking forward to it. Really, really looking forward to it. This is going to be like my room, my special room. All the time you saw us building in previous episodes, you saw us building this structure here. You can see now how the blinds slot into this recess. And also over here, how the projector slots. It's important to remember that when the projector is knocked down, you won't see the housing for it as it winds up. It will be completely flush on the ceiling, which will look really nice. Okay. All right, let's head into, should we go into the, into the, the kitchens? Yes. Yeah? Let's do it. Go. Three, two, one. We're in the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is like Steph's sanctuary, her favorite place. Um, my kitchen guys, to be fair, they gave me no issues, no grief. Everything is there. Everything's sitting there. Shout out CKB, um, Imran and Jav. Top, top boys. I really, really highly recommend them. They were like, we don't want to come to the house until it's the very, very end. We don't want anyone messing with the kitchen. We don't want any dust on it. So literally they're going to come in in about seven weeks time, but everything is ready for them. First fix is, is well complete here. I think the ceiling is done. Um, One thing, they are waiting for us. We need to start putting the tiles on the floor. Yeah, that's why they want to come at the very, very end. We, we need to start putting the tiles on the floor. We're going to have to tile this entire area. This 
wall here you need to pay attention to this wall again in this room you can see the feature that we built going all the way around that houses the coffer lighting but this wall has been built out because you imagine the depth of a kitchen unit coming out to this area who wants to look at the side of a kitchen unit as nice as Jan and Steph's kitchen is so we built this wall out and it gave us a natural place to stop this feature on the ceiling as well and we've stopped it early there as well so also it doesn't impact how beautiful the kitchen will look that's it it's going to run from there all the way around with a massive island here got a huge huge island going here it's all like black with rose gold and led lighting oh my god it, it's so so good the island's going to be there dining table here um, it's a nice big area obviously this is all extension remember guys uh, which is great but yeah we're getting there we're getting there and then behind here we can have it's like a little little chill out area so that's like the three face built so you've got like the niches that's where the tv is going to go there's going to be another 85 inch here you've got the fireplace which is going down there shout out inspirational fires um, and then we've got venetian plaster venetian plaster is going to go on this wall um robert um, his details on the screen now as well actually he's going to be doing this wall which is going to be insane we've got the window here which is like a nice seat this nice little seat area it's going to have like cushions here first coat's gone on with the gray but you need they need to do loads more but what they've done is done the first coat for now until the flooring's in and doors and stuff they were like we don't want to come back until more's done so they can get their finish but this is going to be nice this is going to be a very chill out nice part of the house. Steph will spend most of her time, I think, in here and the kids and we'll just be chilling here. Um, but yeah, now that's built and stuff, really, really looking forward to it. Anything you want to add in here? Well, you, actually, one thing I'll say, one thing you'll notice, no spotlights, you've got no spotlights. Usually people have a load of spotlights in the house. Even my previous houses and, and apartments and stuff, I've had spotlights everywhere because that was like the thing to do. I think people now are moving away from spotlights and having just real nice, single single lights a less is more in a lot of these rooms as long as you can get the correct lumen in the room to light it uh, to light it to have adequate light and it's really good um, and when they designed the light in here they took into account the color scheme that would be used here because it's a slightly dark color scheme but yeah. there's a lot of um, nice touches with this that you can't see at first glance like for instance this looks like a white ceiling this is not white this is a slightly off-white color so if we go upstairs if we have a white wall and then we have a ceiling done you can see just a slight difference on the wall um, it's something very small but it makes all the difference when you walk into a room and you think wow that's a nice room you don't actually know why it's a nice room you just think it's a nice room that's one of the things so hopefully when we get upstairs we can show you that to be fair Steph, Steph's really thought about colouring themes. Obviously we've gone for a very Hakkasan dark theme with LED lighting, not bright lights anywhere. So the house will always be quite quite low light. Um, if we need to brighten up, we can do the same way. There's, there's LED lights all around the floors. There's spots in the floors or in the walls, um, on the stairs. Um, so at night you can just have certain low, low mood lighting in. But yeah, it's, it's getting there, exciting. And again, we see our lovely recess. Ready for yeah. the blind man. Yes, ready for the blind man who can see. He doesn't have a dog or a stick. No. That's it. We've got the toilet downstairs. They haven't done it yet, so we'll show you that. The toilet downstairs, oh my God, it's going to be insane. Oh, wait until you see that toilet downstairs. That's going to be one of the best toilets. Should we jump from here and go straight to the ceiling? Maybe not the ceiling. <laughs> Should we jump from here and go straight to the roof or to the top floor? Let's go to the top Would floor. you like to hold the baton of transport? Okay, just the baton of transport, yeah. We'll go, I think we'll go to the roof because pre-hung doors are up there. So you're going to see my doors. You would have seen um, previously, because I filmed a couple of days. So just so you know, because obviously there's going to be really a part of this video where you're going to see it being thrown back and forth when I'm wearing different clothes and Daniel's not here. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, but pre-hung pre -hung doors are here today uh, and the doors are out so we'll be able to see them today. So let's head upstairs and see what they're doing. Also, the flooring's down upstairs as well. It is. We've covered it though, to protect it. That's okay. I've already, I came in with Gus and filmed that. Oh, look at that. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. So we're on the top floor. Radiator. Black radiator. You'll notice that we've got no white radiators, no white toilets, just everything black, black on black on black. Um, this is like the flooring's been laid. You'll be able to see some of that now uh, when I filmed it the other day when Daniel 
wasn't here. So DNS Flooring have been here. They are doing the flooring on the upstairs. They're doing the carpets. Um, and they're doing part of the flooring in two of the rooms downstairs. Obviously, everywhere else downstairs, we're having tiles. So they've sent their boys in. But this room's all been covered, so I can't really show you anything in here. However, in the other side, so I'm not going to walk in there, but Gus will show you. This flooring's been done. And we actually used a vinyl. Um, they recommended it, and they said, listen, vinyl work better, especially when the boys, they're on their chairs, and obviously gaming chairs, and they're wheeling around. But they put like a really good underlay. But when you touch it, it sounds like wood. Feels like wood, looks like wood. It's not wood, but it's vinyl. But it's actually incredible. It looks really, really good. I'm glad they recommended it. Even when you touch it, it's got like the grooves in there as well. Um, so yeah, so this one's done. It just needs the skirting going around the room and same in that room. But we get in there. Obviously, carpet's going to be last because you don't want people walking up and down on the carpet. But yeah, this looks really, really good. So shout out DNS Flooring. Um, I'm really glad we did that. So we've got vinyl up here, both the rooms, and downstairs, I think, in both, the, in both um, rooms, and obviously tiles throughout the rest of the house downstairs, and then carpet everywhere else. Um, but this is good. I'm pleased how this is looking so far. Uh, this is as getting the color, yes. I want to show you what your skirting board will look like. That's what skirting board will look like. So the skirting board is gonna match the um, door frames and architrave. We've got a door frame over there so we can show them. Fantastic. And once the doors are finished, immediately after that, uh, we're gonna put all the skirting around and then people can come back and finish the decorating and electrical. Uh, the radiators are on in place, but they're not connected. So where Gus is now, there's a radiator there, a radiator here. And a radiator everywhere. And all the woodwork is now complete in there as well. JTEC. It's not complete. Oh, well, it's not complete. What well, JTEC stuff? Or... I mean, they've put in their, ba their units. Yeah, they've put in the unit. What, the carcasses? Oh, yes, the carcasses, yes. Oh, the carcasses. Right, so pre-hung doors are here. Let's have a look at one of the doors. Let me, let me get one of the guys. Can I look at the door, please? Yeah. Can you show me, please? Um, so this is pre-hung doors. <laughs> look at this door. What is that, velvet? <laughs> Look at this door. That is a nice door. And obviously we're looking at it flat down, but, oh, that's nice. You've got these doors throughout the house. Look at the door frame. Okay, uh, this bar from here. This bathroom was pretty much finished already, wasn't it? There are thereabouts, but now the door frame's on. All Jan's bits here covered up because we want to protect them. The final, the final. <laughs> Jeez. He does laughing. Even Ray's laughing. Um, the final coat is now on the ceiling. That wasn't there last time you were here. Nice. So if you have a look at the clinical finish. Is that, are we not, is, it, is this what it is? Are we not gonna have a That's bead it? Are we not having a thing there? No, nothing. That is really? It. Yeah, that, that is what it's gonna look like, exactly. It is finished, please stop doing that. Like, that is exactly what with your dirty fingers. That is exactly what it's gonna look like. Okay, it's fine. Listen, it still needs to be clean. There's still little markings on the walls and stuff. Tiles haven't been cleaned, but I'm just saying, this is the, fin this is the final, you know. Yeah, I know, but it still needs to be, you still need to wipe it down. It's still a bit of over. Up here, look, look. Yes. I'm trying to say, it just needs to be wiped down. But anyway, this bathroom's done, it looks great. Um, yeah, this, this is a really nice bathroom. Jump. Huh? What have you done with my back, man? It's over there, we can walk downstairs, we can walk downstairs. Yeah, I mean, you've got to walk down the stairs. You give this geezer the bat of transportation, he loses it straight away. What a lovely staircase, man. Why have you still got mud all over your boots? Because I'm getting too big for my boots. Ha 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 ha, look at that. So these are some of the doors which you've seen previously. Um, this room is getting there. Yeah, not much really in this room. It's just... Room oh, but again, it's, it's still, it's still it's progress. Nice. Bathroom, yeah, bathroom's done. Well, bathroom's done. However, there's a little mistake. Um, so the tiles and everything is done. The toilet's done. They've sent the wrong sink out. The sink is the wrong colour. It's supposed to be the same colour as the toilet. So that needs to come out and the new one needs to go in, which will happen very, very soon. So from that, that is done. It's actually nice. Very, very nice. Another two whole speakers, control four. So you'll see that throughout the house. Um, oh, look, you can see insulation. Insulation. Yes. Fine. Nice. Unlike when I bought the house, do you know what they did? Let's say there was a wall here, yeah? Okay, and you could see in. You pull out the first bit of insulation and the rest of it was clear. What a liberty. What a liberty. But yeah. Anyway, you wouldn't know that, but we did. We started taking the house apart. Um, this room in here pretty much just left for storage. 
We've got all the skirting, got some more doors in here again, ceiling's done. This is where we can show you that this ceiling is not white. Here we are with the bat of transport showing you, you see, this is the color on the ceiling, a slight off-white with a hint of gray, and this is white. You see, there's a difference. It's a much more mature color palette. Those bars there, Jan. And yeah. um, it's good to have all the rooms around the same sort of progress because then uh, the subbies can come in and they can do what they've got to do. And because we emptied all of these rooms, all the doors and all the skirting and door frames, we can actually bring them up to that level. So the hard labor of bringing that all up the stairs, all of the deliveries that came here, that's already done. So now it's time to just get on with it. Okay, cool. Right, let's head over to another bedroom. Okay, again, another room pretty much complete. That bathroom, obviously we've been in there before. It's done, LED here. Ceiling's done again. Nothing there, because there's actually a cupboard that's gonna go there, so don't- JPEG. Yeah, no point in wasting Jan's money painting, painting a bit of ply. That's gonna have a cupboard in front of it anyway. Exactly, but- Are, are, we, are, we, are we boring you? Are we, are, we, are we keeping you awake, mate? It's tired, just come back from a long weekend at the car show, British Motor Show. Oh my God, it was tiring. I actually went as well, and I saw Yanni banging two goals. I didn't know he was a tecker, the techers like that. When we played football a long time ago, Yanni was a centre back. Yeah, hey, Gus, please show a picture of when Yanni's team won the cup. Do you remember when you won the? <laughs> please show, yeah. please show that, please show that picture on screen of when Yanni's team won the cup. Captain our man. Yeah, but I saw him score two type of different goals. These were yeah. With a car. With a car, yeah. Our football. And, and the second goal, the stig. I've never seen anyone like put it on a plate for anyone like that. The way he crossed it in the stig, so. That's it. And then I crashed the car the day before. Um, but I still scored a goal that day as well. And it wasn't my fault. Um, car okay. guy crashed the car. Shout out Lush Interiors. Look at the size of this bed, yeah? Look, look. So look, this is me set like on the edge, right? So you can get like what, four of me, five of me maybe. That's my bed. Hopefully we never find out. That's it. Yeah, it's a lot of me. Yeah, this bathroom still needs work. We're waiting for tiles to arrive. No. no, 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 we've done all the tiles. Ah, oh, the tiles downstairs. Yeah, we're, no, we're waiting to find out what's going to happen with these. Oh, yeah, before we're, we're Yeah, we're done, in. we're done. Why haven't they done the... The grout? Yeah. Because we don't know if we're going to have to pull off this, because we're waiting for the plate to come, but if this changes, we're going to have to pull off this tile, maybe drill another hole. So if I go and grout all of this, and then I pull it off, it's just going to be a mess. Well, why is the rest not grouted then? Because there's no point, we'll grout it all at the same time in one in so one. That's hit. a sick colour though, that's a sick yeah. colour tile, this one here, look at this colour. I was just, 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 trying to bl just trying to blame. The reason the floor is covered in Corex is because it's completely done as well. Yeah, so you've got the tile, shower this side, toilet that side. You're going to have um, a countertop mounted basins. That's it too, his and hers, so it's going to look like a hotel. So yeah, this, this will look like a hotel, this, this um, bathroom. Chip. How did that happen? I don't know. Did you know that was there? I did. I wasn't here when it happened, but like with all things, somehow it's my fault. Doesn't matter. Do you know why? Door frame, architrave, we'll cover it. You see? But that was not there, that was done. So how is that possible to happen? Um, maybe uh, when we were putting these tiles on, we had to, because of the size of the tile, if you just tried to put this tile straight on the wall, like the, these tiles are only a few mil thick, so, so the tiles were lifting in areas. So when we put the, all the adhesive on, if it was the corners were on, then the front would lift. So we had to put pressure across here to put pressure on the middle of it, and then we put clamps on here and here to hold the tile in all the corners to make sure the tile was fully stuck to the wall. So I'm not sure if when one of the clamps- it's definitely gonna cover. 100%. Okay. Good job, good job. It's a walk-in wardrobe. Yes, in, the, in this dressing area, you'll notice that there's, the floor's a slightly different color. That's because this is a self-leveling compound because there was a 20 mil difference between here and here and we wanted everything to be completely flat. So, because you're gonna have carpet on here as well. So we put down this self-leveling so it's completely the same level all the way across. Even 20 mil would make a difference. So that was to all, so where you're seeing all of that, yeah. is why, and that's why it's not here. So this, this is straight yes. and it just yes. leveled it out. Exactly, because self-leveling compound is again, water-based, and it goes to, you know, it spreads out until it levels itself. Hence the name, self-leveling compound. Aha, aha. 
you've got um, lighting all around the floor, everywhere upstairs. This will be really, really nice. We've got glass, as we said about the stairs. Um, this will all be painted. It's going to be really, really nice. I need to work out where you're going to put certain pictures and things that I need to buy, artwork, um, what's going to go over there. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the house with the wife, choosing what's going to go where and what we're putting on the walls. So that is the end of this house update. Um, nice to be back. Yes. Nice to see you again, even though I saw you yesterday. <laughs> For the people at home. Uh, but yeah, this is it. We're about eight, nine weeks out. Yeah. The completion. I, I, I just want to say, guys, just so I'm not held accountable, Jan will decide how much he shows you of his house on completion. That's down to Jan. There's nothing to do with me, and everyone likes to blame me for everything and say it's nothing to do with Daniel or Asheville. Jan will decide based on his own privacy and how much he wants to share with you of his house. But as longer goes by, there will be less that we will be able to show you. Yeah, so me and Steph have decided that, listen, we're happy to show you the whole build. I know it'll be a bit, it'll be a nightmare to watch a whole movie and at the end you don't see what actually happens. So we will show you certain things, but this is why we jump from room to room so people don't know where, what rooms are what. So we've still got Shebang to come in, you're gonna do all the CCTV, the lasers, 24 hour monitoring system and stuff. Um, but yeah, myself and Steph are gonna decide what we will show. Uh, there'll always be stuff on my Instagram because when I'm in the house and I'm watching TV and stuff, I always show stuff, but I haven't decided exactly to what level. Let us know, what do you think we should show? I know you're gonna show everything, but I need to try and find that balance. So even on Asheville's channel, um, when he does Asheville Weekly, there won't be full house updates on mine moving forward. But we're about eight, nine weeks out. I don't think there'll be another house update for another four weeks, I would say. By then, I'd like to think the garden will be done, so there'll be a full one on the garden. Trying to keep some sort of some sort of privacy, but we'll see. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. See you later. Take care. Yes. So thanks for watching, guys. This video was sponsored by Insta360 Go To, and I'm becoming a massive fan of them. And the mounts for the cars are real good too. So if you guys follow us on the Yanomai's YouTube channel, then you'd have seen us use one of the other cameras from Insta360, the Insta360 One R and we've used that in our drag races and in T-Way. This company is making some great products for car enthusiasts and video creators. If you're wondering how the go-to sticks to my t-shirt, it's via this nifty magnetic necklace. Anyway, with every go-to purchase, when you use my link in the description, you'll get the mount adapter bundle and one special free gift like this carry case. So that's the end of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Nice to be back, Daniel. Loving it. We do love a house update. There'll be a new one coming in about four weeks, I would say. But if you can use that to send the go-to to the moon. Lego. Bye.